For cheap and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, check out easymutt.com and use code SPORTS for 5% off your entire order. Yo, what's up everyone? It's Duke back here from sportsgamers.com and I'm super pumped for today's Madden 21 video. In this Madden 21 tip, I'm going to break down how to easily stop every single run in the entire game. This defense is very easy to use and set up, and it'll stop every run out there, from shotgun runs like inside zone, to under center runs like power, stretch, dive, even quarterback runs will be completely locked up. Now, guys, this is a tip that I dropped a few weeks ago in the Madden Vault on SportsGamers.com. So if you were a Madden Vault member, you would have known about this long ago. This is crucial information and this is just a preview to show you guys the type of content I provide for our premium members on sportsgamers.com we have the best Madden 21 tips so you're going to want to subscribe and not miss out but this is a, just a free preview for my YouTube subscribers as well now guys you can do the tip I'm about to show you from a lot of different formations some I like a lot are 3-4 bear big nickel over G the nickel 3-5 wide and then the nickel 3-5 odd. Those are just a few. So you have a lot of options. You know, I'm going to be looking at using cover 3 defenses, right? Now, cover 3 generally isn't the best run D. I mean, it's normally okay. But with these adjustments, you're going to see it's completely locked down. Now, just as a reminder, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and drop us a like. It helps allow us to continue to do these daily YouTube videos for you guys. And it will make sure that you don't miss out when our videos go live on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't want to miss them. So on coaching adjustments, I want to make sure auto flip is turned on. And also, I put my zone drop settings for flats, curl flats, and hook zones on zero. You're probably asking me, why am I doing this? Well, I'm going to explain it in the video. So let's look at 3-4 bear. I'm going to show you guys an exam examples of how to stop all different types of runs. Let's go ahead and start with I form close. Now, let's look at stretch first. So... All you really have to do with this defense is crash your line to the inside, slant them inside. To do that, you hit left on the D-pad and down on the right analog stick. I like to control the deep safety, and basically if they pass the ball, I'm covering the deep middle. But if they run the ball, I'm just, you know, I'm in run support preventing a big play. But normally, you don't have to do anything because as you guys are going to see, the first of all, 3-4 bear, you have... You have uh, eight defenders in the box. You have 3-D linemen, the four linebackers, and then even the extra safety, right? So you don't have to do much, and they're going to react right away. But you're just flowing to the ball in the run game and controlling the deep middle in the pass game. Now, you might be wondering what playbook to use this with. Well, I mean, you can use a lot of playbooks because the formations I broke down are in a lot of different books um, that I said this works with. Like, again, 3-4 bear, big nickel over G, nickel 3-5 wide, 3-5 odd. All those are good. The playbook I'm using in this video is the Giants defensive playbook. And we actually on sportsgamers.com just released our Madden 21 defensive game planning guide, which covers the Giants book and also the Ravens book too. Guys, if you're looking to become a better defensive player, this is the only guide you need to pick up. It's the best defensive guide, the best guide really for Madden 21 period. It's our most popular guide every year, and it's the most in-depth guide we've actually ever done. Um, it's basically two or three guides for the price of one, and we break down everything you know everything you need to know, I should say, about becoming a dominant defensive player in Madden 21. After using this guide, you'll be a pro on defense. We show you the best blitzes, coverages, and rundies. But more importantly, guys, we show you how to stop all the most effective and popular offensive formations and tactics you guys see online every day. From defending bunch of trips that end, to stopping the run, stopping low balls, to stopping popular routes like HB angles, crossers, and posts. We got it all covered for you guys. If you want to check it out, I think it's a must cop. We'll put it, link to it in the description and pin it as a comment. But I want to show you guys some examples of how to stop all these runs now, starting with the stretch. So again, basically with our user, we just flow to the ball. And as you guys can see, there's really nowhere to go for the um, offense. If you guys take a look at the replay, you'll see that all of our defenders in the box, guys, this is why we put our zone drops on zero. Because when you put your zone drops on zero, the defenders basically react to the run as if they, you know, they were... In QB spy assignments, you're seeing that at the snap, everybody in the box, it's either a D lineman who's rushing or one of those players in a zone, everyone but the deep zones, they're reacting immediately to the run, and then our user is as well. So basically, the only two people that aren't playing the run immediately are the two outside DBs in deep zones. And this just makes it impossible for them to find a lane to run, because if they cut it back up the middle, I'm right here, and then everyone's you know flowing to the ball, 
They do finally try to cut it, and you know we're right there to make that tackle in the backfield for a loss. I mean, again, you're going to be lucky to get really, as you guys can see here, we got, what is this, three defenders in the backfield. You're going to be lucky to be able to get even a yard or two out of runs against this defense. Like here, you guys can see, you, we literally hit them in the backfield for a loss of one or two yards with three defenders. So good luck running the ball on this defense. Now, that was just uh, eye close. Let's look at a heavier formation like eye tight. And this time, let's do uh, ISO run. So with ISO is essentially a dive. Again, only adjustment necessary is you want to crash your D-line to the inside. Again, that's left on the D-pad and down on the right stick. You can do other adjustments if you want, like you could press. If you press, I probably recommend manning up the corner that's on the lone receiver and then you know shading up. Remember, if they pass the ball, you're the deep safety in the deep middle, so don't forget that. If they run the ball, you don't have to get overly aggressive. I would just kind of look to you know attack the run, kind of flow to the ball, and make sure they don't get any big plays. But again, because all of our defenders are reacting to the run, other than the two corners in the deep zones, you know we're golden. And I'm about to show you guys, if you stay tuned a minute or two, a tip to even make the corners, the outside DBs react to the run too. So you guys can see when you crash your D-line in, they get a lot of sheds. If you do want to maximize this defense, you could even have a D-tackle of inside stuff, but you don't even need that. There's nowhere to go. They're dead. Um, so we've looked so far at a stretch and a dive. We could look at other runs too. Let's look at power O. So again, same thing. Same exact adjustments. We crash on inside, press, man the guy up, get on the safety. And, you know, again, as our user, we're kind of just slowing to the ball. Again, there's no yardage. Now, guys, what if they playmaker the run to the weak side? So let's say they go, maybe let's go stretch weak side or power over weak side like this. Now, this comes into play with the tip I was talking about a second ago of how you can make the outside corners react to the run. Now, to do that, all you have to do is put them in a cloud flat. Now, because remember, our flat zones are on zero, and that is the key to making the defenders immediately react to the run. It's putting your zone drops on zero. They basically play as if they're a spy and immediately play the run. Now, you have to be smart about this, though, because obviously, like, we wouldn't want to do this with a corner that's over the top of a receiver or on the same side of the field as a receiver, but... If you're playing a formation like this, or maybe a jumbo tight end set, where there's a side of the formation that has no receivers, you may as well put that outside corner over there that's in the deep zone in a cloud flat. So now, instead of dropping back, if you guys take a look at the replay, I'll just show you these deep zones, they just drop back, right? Let's look at this guy. See how he just kind of fades back? He doesn't do anything. Watch how he reacts to this run. And this is actually important because if they do try to run this way, now we have another defender that's playing the run completely. All right, guys. So on this play, pay attention to the left outside corner on the cloud flat. Notice the difference in how he reacts to the run versus uh, how he did in the deep zone. Now, you really couldn't see it there because the, the guy tried to cut back up the middle. But if you look at the replay, remember how he just faded back in the previous example? Look here how he just breaks to the outside, and he'll, you know, he'll come up in the run to the outside. So you're not going to be able to run to the outside because he's unblocked. So that's, you know, now he's playing the edge. Now they have to cut back to the middle right into the teeth of our defense. And again, we're there for basically no gain. You know, like I said, to even get a yard on this defense is very difficult to do. Um, let's go ahead and look at another, or let's look at a ISO dive real quick before we move on to another formation. Again, guys, I'm going to show you several examples, different formations, different runs. Just so you guys can see how truly consistent this is, you know, against everything out there. Everything. All right, so again, it's the same exact setup I've been using. This is going to be in the, the ISO right up the middle. There is nowhere to go. They try to cut it the other way because they're about to get hit in the backfield. Maybe they got a yard, okay? So we so far looked at eye close, and we've looked at the eye tight. Now, what about strong tight? Strong tight is extremely good this year to run the ball. Let's look at the stretch from strong tight. Early on, especially in the year, this was kind of, I would say, the best running formation in the game, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, things have changed a little bit, but still very good. So, again, the same setup. All you got to do is crash the D-line down. That's it. User to safety. Any other adjustments, that's just on you, but they're not necessary. Again, guys, look, there is nowhere to go. Had multiple defenders in the backfield. Had to avoid them all just to be able to maybe get back to the yard. You'd line of scrimmage. Maybe I lost the yard. But there, there's nowhere to go at all. Now, this works against, like I said, it's not just heavy sets or eye forms. Single backs and shotguns running formations are going to get completely boxed up as well. 
you look at something like this, like a under center with the two tight end or the three jumbo tight ends. So this formation has three tight ends. All we're gonna do is crash the D line down uh, and use it as safety. That's all that's required. Okay, this is extremely good run defense with essentially no adjustments. You see again another loss in the backfield. But remember, guys, if you want to put again, because this is a formation where there's no receivers on the right side of the screen, just tight ends. You can put that corner over there in the deep zone in the cloud flat, and he will play the run a bit better. As you can see, he cuts to the outside, so now he's there. If they try to break it to the outside, he's there for the tackle. There, again, there's no yardage to be gained against this defense. Um, you know, it is truly a box against the run. If you guys look at shotgun runs, like inside zones, it's going to stand no chance. Now, I will caution you guys. This is a great run defense to use no matter what, but obviously... When they're in shotgun, you know, the run game isn't so much as a threat unless they're just running quarterback runs. Now, against these types of formations, I would base the line also to be a little bit safe. But again, guys, remember, shotgun, you guys can see that there's nowhere to go. They were lucky to fall forward for a yard or two, maybe three. But shotgun, obviously, the run game is the lesser of the concerns. It's more of the pass game. So, to be honest with you guys, personally, again, they were lucky to fall forward for two or three yards. I would be in a better pass defense in shotgun that you can just shoot the run with your user than selling out against the run. Because honestly, guys, this defense does sell out to stop the run. Um, even though it's just cover three, by putting our zone drops on zero, if they do pass the ball, you know, they're going to be able to have some lanes. So this is, to me, something that I recommend using for heavy runners. Guys that are running with the quarterback every play, this is perfect for that. Or guys that want to get under center and just try to pound the rock with, you know, powers and stretches and dives and RPOs and, you know, all that stuff, this completely kills. But for someone who's in shotgun, like, yes, obviously it does stop shotgun inside zones. But remember, the pass game in shotgun is more of a factor. So I personally would get in more of a pass defense against shotgun. But as you guys can see here, it easily will stop the stretch RPOs too. Um, we can do the power RPO here because that's a bit different. Again, all we're doing is crashing our D-line down or to the inside and getting on the safety. And just we're playing in the run game. Again, there's nowhere to go. Again, I really want to drive the point home that this even works since quarterback runs. We're in the Raiders playbook here because they had they have all the under center runs. We don't have like a million options or anything. But if someone's running the ball at their quarterback, especially with fast break, which be, is becoming a bit more common here recently, this will do great against that. Um, it's just a lockdown run defense. It's very easy to use, and it will stop everything out there. So hope you guys enjoyed the tip, man. Leave me a like if you did. Drop some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Till next time, it's Duke, and I'm out of here.